Hey everyone, Jimmy from Dragon Painter here. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the Reaper Bones miniature Oman Rule the Wizard to ultimate level standard. First things first, get yourself a surface you don't mind messing up, or at the very least an expensive surface that you can afford to replace. Find some old clothes, all of my clothes are old so I just throw on anything. First thing we need to do is clean up the casting lines on the model. This is easy with a sharp knife, just scrape them off with the back of the blade and always cut away from yourself. Rapidly changing fingerprints are only useful for a life of crime. Clean up any excess flash with a rounded file. The ultimate level box comes with a round base and a little pot of aquarium sand. You'll need to find some super glue to stick him to his base as this plastic will not react to poly cement. Oh look, I'm stuck. Next, cover his base with super glue being careful not to get stuck, and pour the gravel over it. I've dipped his base in a little bit of salt here too, just to fill in any gaps, but this is optional. First thing when it comes to painting is base coat in the model. I've used pure black through my airbrush here, but you can easily paint this on by hand. You can't use spray primers with Reaper Bones miniatures as the paint reacts badly to the plastic. Firstly, we will dry brush his base. Take an old brush and mix 50-50 pure black and linen white on your palette. Wipe most of the paint off on some paper towel and lightly brush it across the base to bring out the detail. Add a bit more linen white to the mix and repeat. When painting a model to this level, I concentrate on finishing one colour at a time. It helps me to use paints that I've mixed while they're still wet on the palette. Firstly, we'll take true blue and mix it on the palette with a smidgen of pure black. A tiny amount is all you need to darken the tone considerably. Give his cloak, hat and sash two thin coats of this mixture. Next we will layer it up by adding more true blue to the mix and painting only the raised areas of his cloak and hat, leaving the darker colour in the recesses. When it comes to his hat, it's a good idea to only paint the top three quarters, leaving the lower part dark. Next, use true blue on its own and paint the centre of each fold, leaving a bit of the previous colour showing to each side. Now we will mix 50-50 true blue and sky blue and repeat, and then pure sky blue on its own. Finally, we'll paint the corners and tips of the blue areas with snow shadow as a final highlight as this is quite a bluish grey. And that's his blue areas done. His robes should be base coated with two thin coats of 50-50 fair shadow and polished bone with a tiny dash of earth brown in the mix. Once this is dry, relayer it with 50-50 fair shadow and polished bone, leaving the deepest folds the previous colour. Keep building this up by adding more and more linen white to the mix and selectively painting only the highest folds until you are painting them and the edges with pure linen white. Now we will mix honed steel on the palette with a little pure black and create a gunmetal colour. Paint his magic bracelet and this clasp on the back of his hood with the mixture. And once it is dry, highlight it with pure honed steel, leaving the darker colour in the shadows. Hold up! The eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that in the ultimate paint set you have an extra colour. True silver! In my enthusiasm putting together this video I forgot to tell you all about a highlight stage for his bracelet. And the footage is lost to the mists of time now. No problemo, once you've layered his bracelet and clasp with own steel, all you need to do is give your true silver a good shake and apply a thin edge highlight with it, concentrating on the upper surface while it will reflect the surroundings. And that's it, consider this a director's cut of this video with a deleted scene restored as originally intended, with no bad CGI additions. 
we now return to your regular scheduled programming. His beard needs to be base coated with snow shadow mixed with a little bit of pure black. When this is dry, paint pure snow shadow onto the raised strands of hair to create highlights. Follow this with a 50-50 mixture of snow shadow and linen white on only the highest points like where his whiskers meet his skin and the very tip of his beard at the bottom. Next we need to paint his orb. Give it two thin coats of true blue to start with and then mix a little bit of sky blue into the mix and paint only the upper three quarters of the sphere. Keep mixing small amounts of sky blue in until the top quarter of his orb is just pure sky blue. Then take your thinnest brush and a little bit of linen white. Starting from the top centre, paint a series of jagged lines down the orb to represent magical energy. It helps to look at pictures of real lightning to get this right, or if you happen to have a Tesla coil lying around the house, switch it on. His boots and belt should be base coated with earth brown with a little pure black mixed in. Then build it up like before with pure earth brown, then earth brown mixed with a little bit of linen white each time focusing on the upper surfaces of the leather and leaving a bit of the previous layer showing around the edges. The last major area we should paint is his skin. Mix a small amount of earth brown into fair shadow and give his skin two thin coats over the black undercoat. Next paint pure fair shadow onto his skin, leaving the darker mix in all the recesses, like the wrinkles on his face and between his fingers. Repeat this with a 50-50 mix of fair shadow and fair highlight. And finally, paint just his nose and cheekbones with pure fair highlight. Lastly, we need to do the fine detail. Paint his fingernails, teeth and eyes with polished bone and then add a dot of black in the center of his eyes to make the pupil. We're finished now. At this stage, I like to varnish models, especially if they're used for gaming, but the bones plastic holds the paint really well, and this isn't strictly necessary. If you do want to do this, any paint on or spray matte varnish will do. So that's it. Oh Man Rule the Wizard, painted to ultimate level in just a few hours. May your dice always roll sixes. See you next time.